Ivan, thank you. Now to wild moments caught on camera. Chopper 4 above the scene of this, a crash on the MacArthur Causeway early this morning when one of the drivers involved goes on the attack armed with a screwdriver. CBS News Miami's Peter Dench joins us live in Miami with how this all unfolded and the charges that woman is now facing. Peter? Well, Lauren and Elliot, we are now learning what made the female driver so upset. According to a brand new report from FHP, after the crash, the female driver says the father of the driver of the other car actually showed up at the scene, threatened her, grabbed her, and pulled her hair. She admitted to using a screwdriver. She has been arrested. Authorities say someone could have been seriously injured in this incident. FHP says this fight involves 26-year-old Acklin Bayamugisha and Freddie Diaz, the man in the white shirt who allegedly rear-ended her car, and Diaz's father, who came to the scene after the accident. FHP says Bayamugisha is captured on camera lunging at the father in the orange shirt as he is on his cell phone. She persistently pursues him on the MacArthur Causeway. Freddie Diaz clutches his father while holding out his right Right arm to block her. He tries to grab the screwdriver, but she resists, holding it up over her head. For a while, they are at a standstill. She breaks away and holds the screwdriver again over her head. Then she walks after Diaz and his father as they back up on the side of the causeway. And she lunges at the father again as Diaz tries to stop her. He falls down, and as they get tangled up, the father tries to restrain her. An unidentified man in a blue shirt appears and pulls her away from the others. She is taken into custody. FHP says it all started when this now mangled black BMW that the woman was in was stopped, partially blocking the right lane on the causeway, and was struck by Freddie Diaz's white Toyota RAV4, and the fight broke out. Eastbound traffic was backed up for hours as my police and FHP responded. A check of record shows Biomugisha had been cited three times before for minor traffic offenses. The FHP report said she claimed Diaz's father was very threatening and grabbed her and pulled her hair. She said she went to the father's car and grabbed a screwdriver and a bottle of Windex and sprayed them with it. Fortunately, no one involved in this fight was taken to the hospital. Now, Bayou Magish is charged with both aggravated battery and aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. She is now in custody. We stopped by the last known address for her in Miami, but we were told that she had left and had moved to Georgia. We are live in Miami. Peter Danch, CBS News, Miami. Peter, thank you.